All right, today you're gonna to be creating an abstract piece of art from a celebrity's photo. So you've already downloaded it from Google Drive and then you've opened it up into Photopea. So the first thing we're gonna do is on the right-hand side, here's your layers. You're gonna press Control in the letter J to make a copy of your layer. So now it says background in layer one. And now we're going to turn off the background layer by clicking the eyeball that it's next to. And please make sure that layer one is light gray and active. The next thing we're going to do is remove the background behind your celebrity. In order to do that, I'd like you to click the magic wand tool. So uh, after you click it, in the tool options bar, there's a couple of things that I want you to make be aware of. One is tolerance. It's at 32, uh, which I'll explain in a minute. Now, I, what I also want you to do, more than likely your is, yours is already on replace. I'd like you to click Unite. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then move your mouse over the top of your background and click one time. And the marching ants will show up. Now you'll notice on mine, the marching ants selected too much. I just wanna select the green and not anything of the rock. So I'm going to press control and the letter D to make the marching ants D disappear. And then I'm gonna go up to tolerance and I'm gonna take it from a 32 and we're gonna cut it in half to a 16 and see how that works. So we're making the magic wand tool less tolerant and it will pick up fewer green areas. So we're going to click here one time. And now we're going to click, I got this little corner, I want to click up in there. And I'm going to move my mouse over to the right side. And I'm going to keep clicking until the marching ants are just around the background. And look carefully, I have an extra piece I've cut out of his head, and I want to fix that. So I'm going to go back up to my tool options bar, and I'm going to choose subtract. And you're going to come over and you're going to click near where that is. Now, sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, you're going to go back to intersect. All right, I'm sorry, go back to unite and you're going to click it again. So you got to keep trying back and forth between subtract and unite uh, to make them go together. So once you've got a good cutout, if you don't get it perfect, that's okay. Uh, get it as close as you can. You're going to press the delete button and your background goes away. The marching ants are still there, so we need to remove those by pressing the control and the letter D button to remove the marching ants. So there, now we've removed the background. 